Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle, an Odyssey station. Odyssey. Odyssey. Yeah, this morning we announced we are now part of a new brand called Odyssey. We're part audio, BJ. We're part audacious. And we're pot. Pot. Cloud. And we're pot. Yes. <laughs> and we're pot. And we're high. And we're part. Part Odyssey. Yeah, well, I like the sea. I like the ocean. So, you know what? Part audio, part audacious, and I like the sea. Odyssey. Odyssey. <laughs> So here's the thing. If you uh, already have the Radio.com app, if you already downloaded that, it's just going to change to Odyssey, so your life is going to be the same. Yeah, nothing uh, changed for you. <laughs> uh, now, if you haven't downloaded the app, there's a lot of cool things that we are that are now on under this one big umbrella of Odyssey, A-U-D-A-C-Y. So just go to uh, any place where you get your apps or go to Odyssey.com, and uh, hey, man, uh, you get all the news, all the music, all the sports, all the podcasts, and uh, everything that moves you. That's the key is that... There were things that they said, hey, does this move anybody? And they said, no. So that's not included. Yeah. It's only things that move you. Okay? That's what Odyssey's all about. Now, us, I don't know why we're in there. I think probably because it was contractual. Because <laughs> I'm not sure we move anybody but to sickness. We got lumped in. Yeah, we did. Thankfully. So now we are part of Odyssey. And you're going to be seeing that name in a lot of places. And now you're going to go, oh, that's the same company that has BJ and Migs. And that's cool. And the guy, all right. That, yeah, there you go. So, A-U-D-A-C-Y, Odyssey. Let's play Beat Mix. It's time to play the game. Yes. So everybody scream his name. Beat Mix. Yes. Don't be a loser. <laughs> Beat Mix. You're a loser. It is time. So let's turn down for tequila. Yeah, tequila. Yeah, yeah. It's what's for breakfast. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> some mornings for yes. some people. Yes. Let's get to our contestant today. We got Jeff and Puyallup. Jeff, are you there? Yeah, buddy. Excellent. All right, Steve. Get out of here. Goodbye. 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 Odyssey. <laughs> For those playing at home, Jeff will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Jeff, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. What rapper performs at the Mitchapalooza event in the movie Old School? Uh, Snoop Dogg. Yes. What type of pasta's name means little tongues in Italian? Uh... Penny, no, no, Regate, I don't know. No. In which city is the original Ghostbusters set? New York. Yes. Justin Timberlake had an early 2000s hit song titled Rock Your What? World? No. Uh, rock Your Baby. No. 
<laughs> Rock your life. No, Cavity Sam is the name of the character in what children's board game? Oh, wow, a board a game about tooth, uh, teeth uh, operation. Yes. What two letters right. mean a prescription to a pharmacist? Rx. Yes. What was the first sports themed movie to win an Oscar for Best Picture? Baseball. No. The boxing. No. Uh, racing. No. <laughs> no, no. I was asking for the movie, not the sport on that one. So I think you misheard oh, on that. Yeah. Four All correct. Right. Oh, sorry about four. that. Four. Yeah, only Dude. four. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dang it, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess dang it's about the only way you could put it on that one. That's about it. <laughs> I mean, here comes Steve. It could be a slow day for him. I mean, I know this Odyssey news has really got him like, you know, he's just not paying attention to anything he's worked else. worked up in a tizzy. Yeah. Everything has been uh, going crazy for Steve here now. Yeah, working behind the scenes, working very hard, trying to Thank remember you. Odyssey. I am an well, audacious he's individual. Ch- he's got to change some tattoos now because of this news. This is just I, not know. even this a lot to think about. <laughs> that Radio.com tram slam stamp has now got to get covered up. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, dear. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. What rapper performs at the Mitchapalooza event in the movie Old School? Is it Snoop Dogg? Yes, it is. That's right. What type of pasta's name means little tongues in Italian? Oh, uh, Linguini. Yes. In which city is the original Ghostbusters set? Uh, New York. Yes. Justin Timberlake had an early 2000s hit song titled Rock Your What? Britney. No. Body. (laughs) Yes. Cavity Sam is the name of the character in which children's board game? Oh, ah, I love this game. I wish BJ would play it. Operation. <laughs> yes. What two letters mean a prescription to a pharmacist? Rx. Yes. What was the first sports-themed movie to win an Oscar for Best Picture? Oh, uh, Rocky. Yes. In what city was the first U.S. Mint opened? Uh, Philadelphia. Yes. How many regular season games nice. are played by each team in the NFL? Um, 16. Yes. Nevada is nicknamed the Silver State in honor of what? Hair. No. <laughs> wow. Well, Steve, you win. Nine to four. Ah, man, it could have been a perfect Ooh. 10. Could have been. Jeff. Money? I got a serious losing streak going on here. That was awesome, Steve. Good job. Oh, thanks, man. You have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> have a great day. Uh, you said that, not me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Well, you could have had that perfect 10. It wasn't the Silver Foxes that named uh, the state of Nevada. BJ, do you have a guess on that one? I would say it's just, you know, silver, like silver, the, the, the whatever, the metal. Yes, it is the metal, but more specifically, how they get those metal the oh. sil- is the silver mines. Mining? Yes. Uh, the silver mines? The silver mines because oh. of all the silver mines in Nevada. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. you take that information and use it however which way you want. I mean, I feel like, yeah, yeah, I feel like, man, it's like because of all the silver, but it's literally because of the silver mines. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. That's what they say. I would fight to the death for my answer, but okay, fine. Yeah. I don't really want to fight over that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. Thank you very much. Congrats, Steve. You won. Thank you. Yeah, that's Steve. There he goes again. Just winning, go. and winning and tying and winning and tying. <laughs> it's getting not losing. Though. Not losing. Yeah, I need you to. Right. I need you to lose so I get a song once in a while. I don't even. I. I. It's been so long, man. I don't remember the last time you played a loser song. I don't either. That's the problem. I'm so okay I, with that. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. These these listeners need to step up. That's all I'm saying. Oh crap! Texters are bringing up a good point. The NFL then they just changed the 17 game season now. Do your did research. They, one texter said. Did they really? What they're now a 17 game season? When no, did that they're happen? a 17 week season, and they have everyone has a bye week. But has it changed? Remember, they were talking about doing that. Yeah, they didn't have they didn't have seventeen games last season, and I this is news to me. If they finally made that official, I know they've been talking about it, but I we had a lot of texts about it. So I mean, they yeah. must be right. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I don't. Well, the texters don't always know what's going on. I think I would have. I think that would have been a headline story. Like the NFL definitely seventeen games next season, and I have not heard. They that. say they plan to expand it, but they haven't done it yet. I well. Mean, when they say plan, is that mean to expand from two days ago? The NFL is expected to expand their regular season to seventeen games. Expected doesn't mean they've done it yet. So, who's that? Who's that? Who's that, that from, uh, Steve? Uh, from uh, CBS Sports. Okay, NFL is well, set to expand their schedule for the first time in forty-three years. Okay, it looks like it's going to happen. Rev, yeah. I hate to say this, but uh, <laughs> but they haven't wrong, done it yet. Yeah, they have apparently. I mean, no, they're yes. expected. 
Uh, to change go. it, which means it to. hasn't happened yet. Uh, it's in the know, future. This guy said he didn't want to fight over silver, but boy, he's fighting over this. Yeah, this is the hill I'll die on. Let's All fight. Right, fair enough. <laughs> oh, so that is news yep. I did not know that it's going to be a 17 game seat. Uh, so, 17 games? 17 games on 18 weekends, so no extra bye week, it looks like. Why? Money. Wow. Money, money, money. Yeah. Um, are they going to then with that? Are they. I don't know what the rest of the story says, but it seems that seems to be really arduous. I mean, unless they're stretching the season longer, which means it's going to be what, like mid February, we're going to have the Super Bowl now. Um, or the Super Bowl is going to be February thirteenth. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go, because it was a week earlier last this year. So wait, uh, okay. Does that yeah. as you said February thirteenth? Yes. Does that mean that we're going to have a Monday off because of President's Day? I don't know. Oh, I see what you're saying. I hadn't thought about that. Is that possible that they no, can actually have it the crap. same? Oh, President's Day next year is going to be February 21st. Dang it. Bastards. Why can't they think of these things for us? Right. Yeah, right? Wow. So <laughs> a 13-game season, I I don't 17. even know. What, that too. Yeah, 17-game yeah, season. 13-game? <laughs> yeah, what, what the hell happened? About. We lost four. Yeah, so I wonder where they're going to get that extra game, you know, knowing how football goes. Uh, you sure it would be unfair, I think, to have it in your own division. Uh, because that would be weird that you have to play a team three times. So yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I imagine uh, be outside the division. Yeah, so that is interesting. It, there's a delicate balance to that, Steve. Actually, the 16 games worked really well mm-hmm. in my brain. Um, so this is going to be interesting. I wonder if you'll play an extra AFC team. I think that that might be a thing that might happen. Is that maybe we will play an AFC team that is similar to our record, but from a division that we won't play that season. Yeah. Like, that, that, unless they really spell it out. Yeah, it looks like the owners are still going to meet to figure out the whole expansion of the schedule and stuff like that. Because there is a delicate balance. I mean, you know, you, you 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 pick a division in the AFC and you're going to play all those teams. You pick a division in the NFC and you're going to play all those teams. And then the two divisions that you don't play, you'll play teams that had a similar record that you yeah. had. And also, I mean, that that would mean that not every team's going to have the same amount of home games. Like even like, like our buddy Christopher Walken just said, uh, half of the league's going to have nine home games. That doesn't seem very balanced. Oh yeah, you're right. That is so bizarre. Unless it gets balanced out for like, you know, half the teams will have an extra home game, I guess, or some uh, close to half the teams, I guess. And then the other and then next season, it'll be the, the other following teams. season. Probably they'll make it up for the boy, other. Boy, that's yeah. boy. That, that, that is a balance. That's just nuts. I, I, I that is really interesting that there that this is all happening. And then I wonder if there's going to be an extra wild card now or maybe yeah. two. Uh, this is don't know that I really don't know the point of this, except just to get more money. I don't know what they need. That's the uh, point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's a little. Well, I mean, how I feel you, you see, like the the, the the TV deal is going to be a lot more, and that which means the salary cap is going to go up as well. And I, I bet a lot of that the TV deal being more is because they're adding one more game. Yeah, and if the salary cap goes up, I guess you get a better team. But everybody has that ability. Well, and also that means that players are going to want more money. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Here I'm thinking we can get more expensive players, but no, it just means we're that that one expensive player is just going to want more. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not cool. All right. Well, congratulations, NFL. There you go. I. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. I, I guess we won't argue if we get a you know an extra week of football. Oh no. Yeah. And, and that means one less preseason game. And, and who really cares about the preseason games? Well, you're absolutely right. Uh, you you are absolutely right. But then again, for the players, will they start training earlier? You know, the, it do, you know that's the other thing. I mean, yeah, the preseason is what it is, but they still need time to train. A longer season for those players, man, it's kind of a beating on their bodies already. I know it's only a week, but I, I, I boy, I wonder what the players feel about all this. I, I can't believe the average player is happy. You know, uh, right, of course, right. you, you, I mean, you do get paid for one extra game. I guess that's nice. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. Well, I guess I guess if you do get full time money for playing a game rather than a preseason game, I don't know how that all works out. Maybe they will be happier if it's the same length of time, but they cut out a preseason game and get a full time game, like a regular. Maybe they get more money for that. I've seen a lot of players have. They don't think it's. I think one player even just said this s is dumb as hell. <laughs> okay, uh, that's that would be my that would be my thought too. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, congratulations, NFL. It's not like you're trying to get money or anything. And yet, they still don't have full-time refs. <laughs> I mean, they've added an extra game. We've got refs that won't be that that don't do this full-time all season long. And we've seen some of the mistakes that are made. And I don't understand why they can't just make them full-time. You know, they make so much money, and that way these guys can be the best of the best. 
I don't understand. But that's the NFL for you. All right, it is time for listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. What do you want to talk about? You get a chance to. Your calls, your texts. We got them at 917 on The Rock. BJ and Mix Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. $20 $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose, brought to you by Snoqualmie Casino. Listeners on the Loose, this is simple. You pick the topic, you guide the show at 206-421-ROCK. You can also text us at 77999. Just remember, when you be blabbing, Blabbin. Steve has a rule. It's a simple rule, BJ, to show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, we're going to have to gong you. And then say goodbye to you. Goodbye, old friend. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Ooh, someone has a question about food. Yeah. Oh, food's... Uh, we don't know a lot about that. You have the power to remove any one of these from existence. Peeps, bad Valentine's Day chocolate, or candy corn. Yes, Rev, with the snap of your holiday glove, you can snap one away. Oh. Mm. Oh, man. I'm going candy corn. Ah. You can't do that. My friend Josh really likes candy corn. I found that out recently. I, I he thinks <laughs> yeah, it's do the it for Josh, Steve. He just he, he thinks Screw it's the most Josh. delicious thing in the world. And I'm like, all right, well, and I can really live without Peeps. So yeah, I mean, yeah. I'll snap Peeps away. It has to be Peeps for me. Yeah, get rid of the old Peeps. What over candy corn? Oh yeah, yeah I, I would rather but, just eat a handful of candy corn than Peeps agreed. any day. Agreed. I think both are trash, but true. I could I could tolerate Peeps way more than I can candy corn if there's like a bowl of candy corn in the kitchen or a couple of peeps i'd probably eat one of the peeps and i want to tell you this i uh, didn't really like candy corn a whole lot it's okay but the candy corn skinny pop popcorn they come out with every halloween Pretty is good. really good yeah i agree and it's just the bad valentine's day chocolate not the, the little candy hearts right because i'm like chocolate's still good if it were the candy hearts i'd probably pick that but definitely candy corn who the hell really eats it besides danny I'm with you, Vicky. Like, why did they say bad Valentine's Day chocolate over those, like, chalky Valentine? Because right. they knew everyone would pick those. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, good maybe. call. And at that point, like, they do put out Valentine's Day stuff, like, I'm sure before right. Christmas has even happened these days. So the chocolate is just, like, four months old by the time you actually get to Valentine's Day. Yeah, oh but- man, don't be. Well, then what, how, so how about the Christmas chocolate? I got to do that, what, in July then? Um, yeah. It's oh, out now. Man. Oh, that ain't what? Good. <laughs> That's Are you surprised? True. Yeah. Okay, so I think the majority of us say the peeps, but Steven wants to get rid of candy corn. Is oh that, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, me too. And Vicky too. But what about Josh, Vicky, our I buddy? <laughs> he shouldn't be eating candy anyways. Ooh. Wow. He's diabetic. Oh, Wow. He's diabetic, so I'm trying to save his life. You're not saving his life. <laughs> so he okay, used to like wow. Steve until he dissed candy corn. Steve is trash, not candy corn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, finally a text I can agree with. I, okay. I want a shirt that says that Steve is trash. I yeah. like that. <laughs> All right, cool shirt. Have we ever tried to done. make peeps into like a s'more thing? No. That one I, might be an I interesting thing. Yeah, like put it on a graham cracker with yeah. some chocolate. It might be pretty good. 
Maybe I it might overpower it. Also, at the same time, that's the or, thing. S'mores is the, that yeah. that grand cracker. I don't know if I'll taste it if I get that peach crap. Like someone says, I love candy corn, but you're entitled to your wrong opinion, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe if you took peeps and like put them in like uh, Rice Krispie treats or something, mm. maybe. Well, but you gotta like dress it up or something. You do. Peeps are just. Ugh. I think Rev's on to something. If we take peeps and put it in the trash, now I think they would be oh, amazing. Wow. Fair, oh, fair. Nice. Yeah. Oh man, I go. just found a recipe for peep skillet s'mores, and I kind of want this. Can right. you make that, please? I might uh, be able to. Okay. Well, I heard. I mean, we talked about peeps working with Pepsi for what they were doing, like Peepsy, or like some Pepsi flavored <laughs> yeah, yeah, peeps, yeah. or <laughs> Peepsy, <laughs> yeah, Peeps flavored Pepsi. And I guess Seven Eleven is going to be doing a marshmallow flavored latte with Peeps. Interesting. Yeah, that's better See, than the soda. Yeah, I agree. Um, Because I think coffee really balances out the sweet a little bit. I want to put sweet in my coffee anyway. The peeps might work. It's actually funny. The day after we talked about the peep, the peepsy, the Pepsi play, f- flavored peeps, Mark Hoppus, I follow him on Instagram, and he posted yep. a picture that they sent him, like the gift pack of it. And I was like, oh, apparently you just got to be in Blink 182 to get these cool things. Right. I want them. Wow. Even I wouldn't drink them. Mark got the peep fl- he got the peach flavored Pepsi. Yeah, like the whole set, and I was like, the "Man, rich get richer." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, but that is a random place for. I mean, I don't know. Is, is he known for being a huge Pepsi fan, or is Blake nope. known for being a Pepsi band? Like, why? That's just a random place to send it. <laughs> See, at least they could do it with like CM Punk, the wrestler, because he's got the Pepsi logo tattooed on exactly. his arm. You would think, he, like, he earned it. Right. Steve, you need to. T- we need to tweet C- uh, CM and see if he got any of the Pepsi. Seriously, I mean, yeah. you're right. He should get every Pepsi thing that's done. He should get like a refrigerator full of them. Yeah. So and I'm saying, I mean, have you tried roasting a peep like a marshmallow? Do the sugar on the outside, get it all crispy and brown. It's awesome. Huh. Ooh, that's what Ooh. it looked like in that picture Vicky okay, showed me maybe, when they yeah. did the big pe- the peeps roast. So I said, make rice crispy treats with peeps. It's next level. Another person yeah, said, "Peeps yeah. are awesome, you douchebags." <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> very aggressive. Wow. Uh, you know, it's because we're like the week of Easter. Like, I get it. It's, yeah. they, they don't want their peeps. It's peep, peep season. season. It is. I would like to try. I think I would be willing to try a Peeps Rice crispy treat. I'd be willing to try that. All right. Who's gonna make it? Vicky. Joe. Why don't you look at me? All right. Good job, Vicky. Because you're the DIY person of the show. But yeah. Joe's, Joe's the cook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, but you know, Joe goes on his own schedule. Well, we need yeah, get, we, we we have to assign this to Vicky if we actually want it done before next Easter. We'll get it Easter twenty twenty four. Maybe. All right, I'll do yeah. it. But would you guys mind if my little brother helps? I, mean, I don't know what yeah, that means. Uh, it's gonna be two year old with his hands in it. Okay, that's exactly what I thought it meant. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't yeah. want him to help. No. Okay. no, that's the only way I'm doing it. I'd be like, you're like, can I have uh, uh, Tatum help? And she drools uncontrollably. I mean, oh, I'm dude! Good. Plus, two year olds put their hands everywhere. I'd wash it. He knows how to sanitize. Yeah, you okay. told me some stories about stuff yeah, on his no, hands. Vicky. That, mm. yeah. No, no. Yeah, he stuck his hand down his diaper once. I like that the, yes. the packaging for the Peepsies that were sent to Blink One Eight Two guy Mark Hoppus. They were like in like like a box that almost was like treated like an East. Easter basket with the fake grass. Yeah, kind of nice. Thing. Oh, see, Mark well, again. I, you know, I need to know what Mark did. Like, who does he know? Well, everyone. Uh, Tom. Like, yeah. <laughs> Travis. <laughs> okay. He made All some right. music. Uh, you know, did some stuff. Two zero six four two one Rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. It's listeners on the loose. Ooh, someone's got a question for Vicky. In fact, two questions. Oh, All here right. we go. He said while listening to the commercials, uh, you guys played that call from Biker Bear where he wanted Vicky's underwear. And yes, mm-hmm. that's on uh, the Odyssey. Uh-huh. Uh, which is our new thing. It's not radio.com anymore. It's Odyssey. <laughs> Odyssey. Uh, so they wanted to know, one, did he get the underwear? And two, does he subscribe to your OnlyFans? <laughs> yes, he did get my underwear. I put it in a frame. That was part of our arrangement. And I mailed it to him. And he proudly brings it to a lot of, like, when we had events, he would bring it to the events. Uh, I don't know if he subscribes to my OnlyFans because a lot of people just keep their just like a very plain username like you one two three four five six whatever they give you. DJ so one two three four five six. Right. So I don't know who a lot of people Thanks. are. Some people will put their names on there and profile pictures. BJ Def- <laughs> definitely yeah. not Steve Miggs sixty nine four twenty sixty nine four twenty sixty nine. Oh yeah, ended. my bad. Exclamation point. That's right. I, I you know what the, the human resources nightmare that would be if all of a sudden that conversation happened. Excuse me, are you guys subscribing to Vicky's OnlyFans page? I feel like that violates every bloody thing in our contracts. <laughs> I mean, I'm I mean, pretty you discreet. Guys, you guys funded my Kickstarter for Bruiser Brody. It's the same thing. Yeah. Basically. Is it, though? 
I wow, mean, I've gone naked on that. Yeah. yeah. You just sit and get the right tier, BJ. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, you know what I'll sixty nine dollars. Uh, you'll be surprised what you get from me. Yeah, I'll get a I'll oh, get a yeah. stern talking to by management. Is what I'll get. <laughs> <laughs> and for a hundred dollars, I'll be shown the door. Oh, so, have you ever noticed someone subscribe that you know? Yes. And have you guys? Did they tell you they were subscribing, or did you just do it? So it was one person. Like he, when I opened my phone the next morning, I saw he had messaged me on Instagram. He's a listener of the show. And he's like, hey, where's your OnlyFans? And then he managed to find it and he subscribed, but he subscribed with his name and picture and the picture has us in it. Oh, wow. Like a show picture. Nice. With him. Whoa. So I'm just like, I I think it's awesome. Thank you. Like, it doesn't bother me at all, but it's one of those like, well, it's weird in person. Like, I don't know because I haven't really seen anybody. It's, It's like... Hey, you like my content? He's a I, I, I appreciate him because he he tips well. Damn! <laughs> okay, so he's no Baltimore Ravens football team. No, no, no J Lo and A Rod, <laughs> as we learned yeah. earlier. Yes. All right then. Well, we're going to find out whether or not you know Vicky basically doesn't need this job anymore. Well, I, uh, I never I never ask her like how many how many people she's up to because I feel like one day she's going to come in and just say, "Yeah, guys, look, I'm out." <laughs> so they, uh, wow, that OnlyFans is going really well then. <laughs> I, I heard of like a teacher, like a high school teacher that was just fired because she had an OnlyFans account and they found out about it. But the problem was that in some of her videos or something like that, one of the students was involved. So they're like, oh, yeah, oh. you can't be doing that. It's like a double whammy. Yeah, you've got to be careful. If you're going to do that as a high, yeah, you, you, you really cannot. All right. But how do you stop that? Like, how do you stop somebody from subscribing? Or when you say involved, do they actually like get like involved in some of the OnlyFans content? Yes. Oh man, how dumb There's are a you, video lady? Of her and her student. Okay, that's not. I mean, how does she think that's a good idea? I don't know, but yeah. man, oh. I'm, I'm gonna go back to school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I love. Look, I love. The, whoa, that's the teacher I never had. Wow. Okay. Wow. Dang, she's um, Esme Rose is her name. Thank yes, you. that is a, a fantastic OnlyFans page. I'm going to just say that right now. Well, I guess I'm okay. Know what I'm doing this afternoon? All right, now going back right? to school. Yeah. Okay. Well, these are the free pictures. <laughs> I can't imagine wow. what the the paid pictures are like. No, I can. Yeah. Imagine. I mean, <laughs> Vicky. So, Vicky, it sounds like from your surprise that the pictures that we're seeing, if the, if the, if you have those, people have to pay to see those. They're not free. Like my pictures or her pictures? And your pictures. In other words, I've said we see the pictures she has, and they're quite revealing. Even though I mean, they don't show any naughty bits, but they. I mean, it's like you know, she's wearing uh, the, the least you could wear if you were going to the beach. Uh, but you, you, but you she's see going me hiking in some of these pictures in that they, outfit. Oh yeah, she's hiking it all right. Uh, but but Vicky was like, I can't believe these are free. So is that does that mean these kind of pictures you'll charge people for? Like you you have a standard where it's like I will not show you this much unless you pay. Yeah, I don't really do the nudity per se. I do implied or like burlesque Impl- or not burlesque. Uh, um, implied nudity is <laughs> like I don't know how that. I might be naked here. Is it's it like, you just in a regular picture and you hold a sign that says "Pretend that I'm naked"? Yes, that's, that's, that's all nudity. the pictures. It's the same picture. Vicky's over behind over. a door and she peeks her head out and goes. I'm implied that I have nothing on, even though she's wearing, like, you know, her stitch onesie. <laughs> it's like, I'm not wearing much or anything, but you don't see the stuff that would get censored in a movie. Yeah, well, I didn't see anything that got censored to that woman or, or I mean, that those pictures there. I mean, did I know? Yeah, yeah I mean, booty yeah. is not censored anymore. You can see the booty on the beach. Booty, booty, booty. It used to be booty was censored, but now pretty much as long as you don't see... I mean, you know, beyond beyond the booty. <laughs> I will show off the booty, though. <laughs> it's a, Oh, all right, then. Well, there you go. Now uh, I think you have some more subscribers. I think I want to stop talking about this. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Esme Rose. Yeah. Esme Rose is the teacher you all wanted. A lot of people are asking. <laughs> Shockingly. Yeah, right. Did they ask for you to say it in that voice? Yeah, yeah well, I can't help it right now. I blew my voice out over the weekend. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Is me maybe, like, maybe that's the wrong term to use in this situation. Well, sure I is. mean, crazy. You pick the topic. You guide the show. It's listeners on the loose. 206-421-ROCK. You can also text us at 77999. Your calls, your texts at 935 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 
99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Uh, someone just texted, actually tweeted at us. Our friend, a drifting nerd, just tweeted at me, wondering if I uh, let you guys know about the big news, BJ. You'll appreciate it. And also, is uh, something that has to go on with my world. Okay. Wrestling. Uh, just announced, he says, by USA Today, William Shatner is being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I didn't know he had a connection to wrestling. Oh, yeah. He's done some stuff back in the day. Like, he mixed it up with Jerry Lawler. Um, oh, yeah. Did he really? Yeah, I am completely oblivious to this. Plus, one time he did a great bit. He was singing all the WWE superstar songs, but Shatner style, which is where I got this one from the, the old Shawn Michaels song. I'm just a sexy boy. Oh. Wow, I yeah, never maybe. realized that William did that. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Well, well then, uh, that's cool that they've inducted him into the Hall of Fame. I Boy, it's really, you know, he is everywhere. I mean, because that's a part of his career that he basically, you know, involved himself with another great organization and a great brand. And I was oblivious to that. I had no idea. He's it's, everywhere, that shat. It's been a while since he's done anything with them. But he used to do some stuff from time to time. And, and, and the WWE has, like, their, you know, quote, unquote, celebrity wing of this Hall of Fame that doesn't really even exist. One day might. Uh, but... They usually try and give it to like some some popular celebrity like Snoop Dogg in the past and other people as well. So now he's a member of the Hall of Fame. Well, it really is the sci-fi world and the wrestling world. Boy, did we, we realize just how much that collides, or I should say the geek world and yeah. the wrestling world. We had no idea, but I mean, you know, Rev has hosted some panels at ECCC, and there yeah. were wrestling panels you oh, yeah. know, at, at, at Emerald City Comic Con. So those worlds definitely are existing. We're all geeks in one way, shape, or form. <laughs> it's oh, true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it never was looked upon that way. If you if you, if you were a, like a sport of any kind, and wrestling was, you know, before it was called entertainment, it was still considered very sporting-like, uh, and still is from an athleticism standpoint but never did any geeks like me ever think that wrestling fans would ever be like me because i you know nobody ever liked to be called a geek but really you're geeking out with anything that you're an, a fan of and it's a hobby i mean it could be sports too yeah you're absolutely right you could be a geek about baseball basketball football it's just things that you're obsessive over that you know a lot about you're kind of geeking out about them yeah, it's a, it's an interesting thing. You're absolutely right. And though, you know what, there are some old schoolers that would not want to be called a geek. It's like, dude, you know way too much about this to not be a geek of that. You are a geek. And they do not your boy toy. <laughs> it's not your boy toy, though. <laughs> I can't believe you keep playing that. Yeah. Ooh, someone has a good question for all of us. What yes. is the most awkward scenario that you've ever been in? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Awkward scenario. You know what? The first one that comes to mind is because of this show. Uh, back back in the day, I mean, this is a while ago. We had our Alex Zakis from Everclear on. Yes. yes, and I remember at the time I had you know what I thought were funny T shirts at the time, but I had a shirt that would said, "If you're close enough to read this, you know have SARS." And I wore that shirt, and I went down to go get him, and in the elevator, he looks at that shirt, and it was like, "Yeah, my girlfriend got that once." Oh, and I'm just like I'm sorry. Wow, and he was he was super nice and cool. But he's like, oh, she got better. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm Thank never God. wearing this shirt again. And I promptly uh, burnt it. Yeah, dude, I remember that shirt. I wonder whatever happened to it. Yeah, I got rid of it. Damn, that's very awkward. Totally. <sighs> Come on, Vicky. So, when I was about eighteen or nineteen, I was waitressing in my hometown, and. You know when you're sitting there trying to, you know, charge someone's car and you know, do the pay thing. I was trying to make small talk without even thinking. There's this couple that would come in all the time, like for, for her entire pregnancy, and she they came in a big group, and it didn't. I didn't put two and two together, and I'm just like, so when are you due? And she looks down at the baby, like she had a, a little car seat with the baby in it. She's like, I yesterday. Oh, it just because oh. they were in a group and it didn't click that that one was hers because obviously oh. she still had a belly. Oh, oh boy. And I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, have a nice Whoops. day. Dude, I took everything in my power not to congratulate somebody or wish them luck. That was one of our baristas at one of the places that we go to. I haven't seen her in a bit, and all of a sudden she's got the round stomach. Uh -huh. I'm positive that she's pregnant. I'm positive. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Even though I am so oh, positive. You must. Why? It's you not worth it. Not. Take the chance. It's like the 50-50. Go for it. Oh, no. Dude, I'm, 
I think it's a 99 1% chance. Oh, well, then you've got to go for it then. Why? You know what? Go off. You know what? <laughs> Unless she has a shirt that says butt in the oven or with like an arrow pointing down. Or like a, like a little princess hat that says like, I'm pregnant. It's yeah, a right. mom to be. Yeah. Like, don't uh, do it. Rev, bed and breakfast. Uh, that no. way he'll do it. No, I'm not betting anything. Uh, I wanted to though. Cause I, was like, I was like, ah, congratulations. I'm like, no, I can't do it. This uh, is how these things happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this will man. be the last time I come to this coffee stand if I do it. That's a very good point. I hadn't thought about that. You will you will get bodily fluids in your coffee if you if you basically tell her she's pregnant. She's not. You know, it's funny. I was thinking of like what was the most awkward scenario I've ever been in, and I didn't even think of the most obvious one. And of course, thank you, Texter, for reminding me. Steve's most awkward moment: flogging the dolphin while staring into Grandma's eyes. LOL, hilarious. Oh, flogging the dolphin. We haven't used that in a long time. That's a good euphemism. Poor dolphin. Yeah. Poor Steve. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then poor Grandma. Yeah, very yeah. much poor Grandma. Everybody was, lost. Yeah, everybody. Everybody lost in that scenario. Uh, well, I, you know, I was, I think it was awkward when we were interviewing Danny for the job, and all of a sudden he just starts getting really, like, personal about his life. Okay, and BJ, how did you know that that was mine? Because that's exactly mine. Was it? Yeah. You that crying was, at the job interview? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. it was just, I'm, I, I come to Seattle, <laughs> my first time ever to Seattle. <laughs> so and great. I'm in this, like, fancy restaurant and just can't help myself and just start crying. Miller's Guild. My, yeah, that place. Yeah. Oh, Such a good joint. So I drove the by there the other day and I was like, oh. Yeah, tears. we have still taste got the tears. We got food and a show, Steve. <laughs> wow, Did you yeah. think after the 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 emotional moment and you broke down into tears, and then like you know, soon after we 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 bid farewell, finished our food and got the hell out of there. Did you think that it, you weren't getting the gig? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. And especially like I, I flew back to New Mexico and I was just like, nah, this isn't happening. And then especially because I got uh, email from the boss basically being like. Yeah, I'm going to let this one sit on the back burner for about a week. And I was just, that week was just like oh. agony of like, I don't know. I did, they, they, they're going to hit me if back. If memory right serves me correct, you started crying because of a question BJ asked. Oh, of course. Oh, Shocking. I don't remember, to be I honest. I think with so. You. I think, yeah, I think yeah, BJ was. made you cry. Well, I think yeah. it was more of like, I think it was, the, the question was something easy, like, why are you good for this position? And I went and I launched into like a 15 minute thing oh, yeah. that was emotional because I was going through a divorce and all this stuff. And then BJ was just kind of like, whoa, mm-hmm. answer the question. <laughs> and I That's was like, right. OK, way to go, BJ. Oh, you know what? I, I, and it's just not women. I may cry. I, I really wanted to show that I could make anybody cry. Well, debatable. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> well. Oh, that's that. That's one of my favorite awkward moments that I was involved with, but it really was, you know, more awkward for the person named Danny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't think you're. I, I was actually like, oh boy. And I, I, I was. I preached a good word about this guy, and he's like, "What the hell was that about?" And I'm like, yeah, I, it was, well, <laughs> it was I, the greatest I, moment of my life, just because I, Steve was just like, "I don't know. I thought he was a good guy." It, just, it shows he cares, BJ. Yeah. But actually, I mean, you know, to your defense, I, I, this is why I shouldn't be in charge of anything, because, I mean, this is this is the state of how beings are today. People communicate more. People share more. People are more empathetic. And, you know, I come from a generation where if you showed any sign of vulnerability, you immediately were dismissed, which, of course, Brene Brown and many other people have written that vulnerability actually is a great thing to see in somebody. Uh, and luckily, our boss, Hair Club, was smart enough to know, no, this dude's a good dude. I think that uh, don't worry about that. That just shows he's a good dude. And I'm like, really? I'm like, all right, well, I'm glad you're in charge of hiring because I have no idea. Yeah. You know, I go, I just know that I, I know that crying at the table was never the thing I was supposed to do. And I wanted to cry many times in my career. Um, but, you know, Danny made it work. I and th- now, you know, now you can cry at the table, at least in radio, right? I think it was, I think it's just interviews I'm bad at. I remember the other, the other one that I was oh, thinking about. I don't know, for Steve. Can, can we find some things he's bad at? That's, I think well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, not just in- <laughs> I was at Warp Tour and my job was to interview all American rejects. And I kept calling them Alkaline Trio because we oh! were sitting next to the Alkaline Trio bus. And the oh, drummer that's... wanted oh. to punch me in the face. I wish he would have. That would have been a great moment. My gosh. I was so scared. Like, it was a supposed to be like a 15 minute interview just hanging backstage and i was just like so what's up next with alkaline trio and they were just oh. like not alkaline trio buddy why do you ask them and i was like ah, oh. this. so i'm just oh. not going to do interviews anymore i give up yeah that uh, that's the worst feeling when you call somebody by their wrong name i've done that many times in my career it sucks and you tell your brain i'm not going to do it i'm not going to do it i don't know why i've got this confused yep. and then i do it anyway and it's so it's such a beating 
Oh, such a beating. And if you get a good, you know, good show members like us, we will p- bring it up all the time. <laughs> I mean, that's what friends are for. There. Yeah. <laughs> that's the least that we could do. All right, we have an important question that needs to be answered. Now that we know that, you know, who cries at interviews, but this is a bigger question than that. What do Ryan Castle and Pasta have in common? I'm going to tell you at 950 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. And now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What do Ryan Castle and pasta have in common? Typically sauced. <laughs> True. Best when sauced. Truer. Yeah. Currently sauced. Truest. Always sauced. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, he's the sauce. He's the sauced one. Uh, the, the texters have anything kind to say about Mr. Castle? Oh, yeah, both. Oh, uh, Steve likes both stuffed. Oh, yeah, stuffed of <laughs> stuffed shells. My favorite in stuffed castle. Uh, my wife likes both with white sauce. Oh, yeah, whoa, nasty. oh. She's whoa. a dirty bird. That's, uh, that's uh, And neither yeah. are ke- keto friendly. I was like, keto? <laughs> keto? Keto? I don't um, like keto either. Yeah. You know, there are about 350 different types of pasta. Which I did not know. Um, and yet some people still are complaining they can't find the one that's right for them. So this guy, Dan, said, you know what? He's, I've got a food podcast, and uh, he's going to create the, the perfect pasta. So he spent three years researching, interviewed a lot of experts, went to a pasta lab at North Dakota State University. What? Where they Gained actually- 75 pounds. This lab is where they develop new new noodles. So he he's created a thing called cascatelli, which means waterfalls in Italian. And the pieces look like almost like rainbows with a hollow space on top to hold the sauce. That's considered the perfect pasta. I'm in. Yeah, I'll try it. I mean, it's pasta. I'll have whatever you give it to me. And Ryan Castle, he doesn't have pasta, but he's got a 12-pack. That's next. BJ and Miggs play of the day. Joe decides that he's going to make houses with the, the dollar bills in front of him, and then the strippers come over and have to destroy the houses. I, I, it gets the attention, so uh, it works out pretty well. Now, what if they come over and try and take the money before you finish building the house? Do you reprimand them? Oh, yeah. There's an a, there's a, a unwritten contract, an agreement that when the money's there, doesn't get touched until I approve. <laughs> okay, this doesn't sound weird at all. Well, yeah, you need the building inspectors to go in to make sure that it's True. a, a yeah. valid structure. Is it too late to, to give my son up for adoption? Is it too late? <laughs> DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Well, bankruptcy costs, of course, vary depending on what type of uh, case you're filing. There's a certain amount of, of, of court costs and other out-of-pocket costs that you're going to have in any case. Uh, the, the filing fees in a bankruptcy case are, are about $300, whether you file Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. Uh, one of the things to watch out for when you're shopping for bankruptcy attorneys or, or looking at the different cost options is that a lot of times, especially the really cheap uh, places, don't tell you up front about all the court costs and whatnot that you're going to have to pay in addition to the attorney fees. So make sure that you get the full picture when you're talking, when you're comparing prices of bankruptcy lawyers on what the attorney fees are, how much your court costs are going to be so that you can really make a true comparison. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com.